Hey, welcome my beautiful, lovely souls. Today is a reading for Libras in separation with their Divine Masculine or their Divine Feminine with Libra with Gemini, Libra with Aquarius. If you are a Libra Libra, leave me a message and I will conduct a Libra Libra Twin Flame reading. It's not very common, but um, if you are that, let me know. I'm going to leave timestamps. We're going to talk about sort of the energy, like what's going on now, like what was going on leading up to the separation. Um, some Maybe some shadows, maybe some issues, maybe from the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, um, some things they're still struggling with. Um, and also some soul lessons, of course, and some major events sort of going around this connection, intention, energy, uh, people, maybe things that you need to know from spirit. Okay, so we're going to go right into this and I'm going to leave timestamps like I said, and we'll start with Libra and Gemini. So Libra and Gemini going into separation. Let's see a little bit of what was going on and then we'll get into sort of the energies for the now. So these can resonate either way whether you're divine masculine or divine feminine, whether you're the Gemini energy or the Libra energy, if you truly are twin flames, really all the messages might resonate, okay? So just keep that in mind. So let's see Libra. All right, so I feel like Libra, Libra really, <laughs> Libra really loves their lifestyle. They love like having their money. They love like saving their money and they love to spoil the people that they love. So I feel like Libra really has it together or they're working on having it together not for just anybody, but for themselves first, okay? I feel like they're very easily relied upon because they are that person that is like the go-to for a lot of people. So I feel like Libra is really focusing on family, focusing on their career, focusing on even like retirement, like those plans that you make sort of for the future. Now, what I feel is, is that Libra in wanted to include Gemini in this. They really sort of, Put this out here like this is what i want long term i want long term i want commitment i want um, you know money in the bank i want us to live happily i want us to have something to grow with together all those things um were there and being offered i feel like to gemini so let's see what gemini look at you've got a definite this is this is definitely representative of gemini okay to me this feels definite to me this feels like a definite twin flame connection um this is Libra's thoughts for Gemini. I feel like Libra could be very healing to Gemini's energy. I feel like there's a lot of healing that needs to be done on both sides of this. But what I get is this is like the ultimate. Libra's like, this is the one. This is the one I want to be with, the one I needed to be with. Um, everything about them feels like a match to me in every sense of the way. This is who I was happiest with. This is who I need to feel this happiness. Let's see what else. All right, so I feel like I feel like Gemini might have been a little bit opposing or a little bit, I almost feel like they were a little bit cruel in the end. I feel like they really were a bit defensive. They wanted to like maintain their freedom, but yet they're in their headspace so much that they're like, I didn't make the right decision. Did I make it? Did I not make it? Um, they're in like, I feel like mental turmoil. That's what I feel like, okay? I feel like Gemini's headspace is in mental turmoil. I also feel like there's a little bit of immaturity. There's a little bit of like words hurt sometimes. There might have been some cruel words that were said or um, ways that they felt like they were harboring and they let it out towards the end. I feel like this is Gemini really needing to sort of like grow into their own, like grow into their evolved self or evolved state. Um, they might have been resisting that. They might have felt very... Um, like I said, defensive or like feel like they were attacked a little bit here or there. And they also don't know what to do. They were in this energy then. I feel like they're in this energy now. They're sort of like juggling. Um, should I stay? Should I go? Do I want this? No, I don't. Yes, I do. I feel like they just battle themselves so much and this is just a way that they are. They're always like weighing their options. They're always like weighing things out and they're needing balance very badly and I feel like what happens with them is that they try so hard to get that balance but it's just like this infinite cycle of like up and down up and down energy all right I also don't know if they might have been juggling another person I don't see that specifically right now but I do kind of like get a little bit of that from the lovers where it could be that there was like a choice that had to be made between two people 
um, or two ways to go or like two different energies to be in. If that makes any sense, guys. So let's see. How is Libra feeling now? How is Libra feeling now? Has there been any work done? Has there been any progress? How is Libra feeling now? Libra is completely broken hearted. Okay. Let's clear some of these away. Libra is completely broken hearted. I feel like they feel betrayed and they definitely feel like they were cheated on or they had some thoughts of this or this was like a major fear for them. Definitely third party situation. Somebody that may have been interfering or, you know, getting in the way. I feel like I just dropped a card. Hold on. And we're using it. This is the card I dropped. So they definitely were suspicious of cheating or suspicious of that there was somebody else involved here. So we're using this as sort of the Libra energy. Um, yeah, I feel like they just, they needed to come to this realization on their own too. I feel like in the moment it's very painful still. It's like sort of like wounds that are not healed yet. And they reflect back on the time they spent with Gemini in sort of a negative way now. I feel like they feel a little bit more negative about them. Um, in the beginning, they were holding them on a pedestal. Everything felt so great. Everything was going wonderful. They were being really receptive, I feel like. And then something sort of like went south. So I don't know if there was like somebody had an ex that they weren't over completely or they were with somebody and they didn't want to break that person's heart or that person's heart did get broken anyway. But definitely um, that energy of like that juggling like we had seen, that definitely is is what was going on here. Let me give these a quick shot. Yeah, the moon says to me things that are like hidden in the dark, ways that we feel sometimes, like your subconscious, like, you know, you might feel some way for a reason. It's like using your intuition. So I feel like Libra had a very intuitive feeling about this was going on anyway, okay? So how is Gemini feeling right now in the current energy? How are they feeling? Mm. They feel like they've lost it all. I feel like they've had some kind of major crisis or major situation in their life where they have sort of come into an awakening type energy. You may have awakened them, Libra. Libra may have awakened Gemini. Yeah, this, to me, this is separation. This is everything that they hope for crashing down. Um, weak foundations. Everything they hoped for, but they never knew they even had it. So it's like feeling the loss of somebody now that they're gone. Um, it's all sort of hitting them, regardless of the way they're acting, because I feel like they put on a very tough front and that they put on a front that says otherwise, okay? But they're really hurting over this. This was like a crisis. They're in crisis mode right now. Um, you know, coming to realizations, feeling fearful about the future, not knowing what to do, feeling like, you know, they have to bail out. I feel like that was their energy. They just couldn't handle what was right in front of them. I feel like they made like a mountain out of a mohill somewhere, somehow, some way. So let's see what else we got. Who's am feeling right now. Yeah, I feel like, you know, they just realize that love is a lot of work. Connection and love is a lot of work. This is like nothing they've ever known before, okay? So they're not understanding it yet. They don't get it. They're, they're in this like, they're in this mindset where they have to like bust their ass they're sort of in like almost like I want to say like this 3D matrix mode. Like they're like, I just have to like do what I got to do for me. But they find like living hard. They find living without Libra hard. This has really like shocked them. It's like a shockwave came through. And now they're like dealing with the burden of it. And I feel like they have a lot of baggage and they have a lot of shit they need to like clear away. I also feel like they never ask for help. And they need it. They never ask for help and they need it. And they're very, um, they're very like, I need to prove myself. Okay. So they may feel like now they want to put that work in and they'll do anything to do that. And that's where we're getting this energy. Okay. So let's see, um, very specifically the divine feminine and the divine masculine aspects of this connection, where they're at emotionally, where they're at need wise, what they're doing 
um, energy that they're carrying, Libra and Gemini. So this can resonate for either side. I'm just going to pull cards for each. So the Divine Feminine is feeling forgotten. Completely forgotten, isolated by these emotions too. Feeling isolated by these emotions. There's not a lot of emotional recovery here. I feel like there was too much given by the Divine Feminine and not enough get, like not enough she got back. So it sort of left her in this like time capsule of sorrow. I feel like she feels she can't love again. She feels very betrayed. She feels all these things. Scorned woman is what I'm getting from spirit. And it is diminishing her power. It's diminishing her, um, the way she sees herself. Um, it's diminishing the way she thinks about herself. She has a lot of doubts now. She has a lot of doubts and a lot of worry. And she can't believe that somebody could just forget her like that like she can't believe it it's a real struggle for her to understand yeah we've got stuck in time so it's sort of the divine feminine's challenge you know to come out of this and like balance everything out okay um take the good with the bad the bad with the good and sort of see the good and the bad in the whole situation sometimes we overly focus on what was good and we forget what was bad but if this is truly twin flame you both have mirrored this to one another and they may be feeling the same way too, but then they're showing it a different way. Okay. They might just be stuck in that haul and ass work mode way where you're more ruminating and thinking and staring out windows and like looking at the sky and daydreaming about this person. They're doing it in a different way. So it's not like they're not feeling this too, or they're not, you know, like they're, they're, it's not that they're like really ignoring you. They're trying to ignore their feelings, which is unhealthy, but they're in this mindset where they got to work, work, work. And it could be for you or it could be just for them or for both. But I get a, a sense that the divine masculine um, might be more in that workhorse type mode. So let's see what we're getting from the divine masculine side of this. How's the divine masculine feeling? Okay, so we've got some anger. So Divine Masculine is feeling some anger here. So they could be mad at themselves is what I'm getting. Mad at themselves for not taking action or doing what they needed to do. They were too much like this juggling act. Like, should I, shouldn't I? What should I do? I don't know if I love them. I do love them. I don't. I do. I don't. Like maddening, okay, for the Divine Feminine. So the Divine Feminine undeniably, yes, would be stuck in time from that. Like, it's so hard to get past that when somebody's like bopping you around and juggling you around, right? I feel like the anger is towards themselves, okay? It might have been directed towards the Divine Feminine in a not right way, okay? Like, they didn't, weren't dealing with their anger the right way. They could have just an anger issue in general, but I feel like they're mad at themselves. They're mad at themselves for not, like, seeing what this was when they had it right in front of them. They're pissed off about it. They wish that they, they got it right that first time. And to me, I felt like they just thought it was like a ton of work. Oh, we've got jumpers. Oh, my God. Yeah, heavy thoughts. Look at that. We got jumpers. We got jumpers today. I'm going to show you this one that fell on the floor again. So look, they're definitely thinking about this. They're definitely in that space where they're like regretting it. I feel like they're trying to bury themselves in their work to try to like drown the divine feminine out. And we've got some impatient. So I feel like now they get it. Now they're like, well, I should have acted when I had the chance. But now they're impatient. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to wait. They find the work too hard right now is what I'm getting. Okay? So let's sort of see a major event surrounding this connection. Major event, a major energy, a major milestone, major consciousness, intention, any of those things. Let's see something major surrounding this connection. Hmm, we've got playing it safe. So I feel like this might be the divine masculine. I feel like if you both ever were like this playing it safe in this energy, this has rocked your world and blown it to bits. You'll never be this way again. You'll never feel this way again. But I feel like this energy of playing it safe, like um, Divine Feminine could be stuck in time, but feeling like her memories of this are safe. So not pushing the boundary or trying to reconnect. There might be fear to reconnect. And I feel like the Divine Masculine is in this playing it safe. Like they don't want to like admit to their feelings. They don't want to like admit to something deeper and different because it's scary. 
So they just stay that way, sort of like stagnant. Let's see what else we've got. So we've got the loving woman. So they're definitely, they're definitely seeing their divine feminine this way, like this loving, nurturing, charismatic, lovely energy. Like this is like the empress. They're just seeing like this abundant, beautiful thing. They didn't like notice it though. That's what is so troubling. They didn't see it. They didn't notice it. They didn't take the time and deserving. So I feel like there is hope here. Okay, is what I'm getting. I feel like you're both deserving of true love and true connection. But let's see the soul lessons because that might be where they're stuck. Divine Feminine, what's your soul lesson connected to this connection? We've got procrastination. So I don't know if there's something that you've been meaning to do and you haven't. Or you want to reconnect with your Divine Masculine and you're afraid to do it. I'm getting that... Um, you know, this connection and separation is sort of teaching you to work on yourself and do all the things that you procrastinate about yourself. Like if it's getting a healthy lifestyle or changing careers or going back to school, like whatever major things that you were procrastinating about in the past or this connection might have distracted you. Spirit's like you got to get off your butt and start doing what you need and what you want to do for you. And we've got rejection for the Divine Masculine. So the Divine Masculine may have needed to learn this lesson here. And they may have rejected the Divine Feminine. It may have only looked like it was rejection. But really, they're the ones suffering the rejection. And there could be wounds about this. And this is why they don't want to commit, because they're afraid of that rejection. So let's get advice here. This is from my Fairy Feelings Oracle. We'll get a, a little message from fairies here and see what the fairies have to say about this connection. Hmm. Life's rewards. Counting your blessings reminds you to be grateful for what you have. Okay, so focusing on gratitude. I like that. That definitely helps in the journey. Let's see what else we're getting. Hmm. We've got love heals. Love is always the answer. Self-love is the key. So more self-love for this connection here is what I'm getting. I hope this was helpful. Let's get into the next set of messages for Libra. And Aquarius. We were in Aquarius. What was going on in this connection? Prior to separation, leading up to now. Let's see. So I feel like Libra's holding on to themselves. They're definitely working on like money shit. I feel like they might have debts they got to clear up. Um, I feel like they're just in an energy where they don't feel very giving right now. They don't feel very open right now. They're very closed off and they're sort of holding on to the way they feel. And it's a little bit negative. Okay. So they're in a, in a head space or a heart space where they're like very protective over their heart. It's definitely because of this with Aquarius. They thought that this was like the end all be all. It felt right. It's definitely soul high level soulmate or twin flame connection. It definitely is. Um, there's a lot of passion here, a lot of seeing eye to eye on the same page. Everything felt really, really great. So what is Aquarius's issues or energy here? So what's going on with that? Yeah, they're thinking about the past a lot. They're also thinking about when everything was like simpler and easier and like the way like puppy love sort of fell and like they're stuck sort of in nostalgia right now is what I'm getting. They're definitely looking back. I feel like this is definitely past life shit too. Um, so any of the messages or lessons here might have to do with past life stuff, but they're definitely thinking about like opening back up to this connection. Yeah. And I do feel like they're a little bit immature, um, when it comes to love and how they see love, they might be more a puppy dog love person. And then when it gets heavy or crazy, they don't want anything to do with it. They just want to feel those like lovey dovey, happy feelings. But when it comes down to it and the work got to get put in, they're like a little more, oh, I don't know. And I'm a dreamy, oh, you know in my own world kind of way and I don't really want anything heavy. I feel like I have a lot to offer though. So this is definitely somebody who has to come into a more adult energy and a more adult acceptance about the twin flame union. They don't really understand the concept of it. I feel like, um, I feel like they're just really focused on infatuation and those feelings of like being blown away by somebody, if that makes any sense. So what's like the energy now with these two? Let's see what the energy now is. 
so looking at the past what's the energy now so libra is like working on themselves i feel like working on their home their home environment i don't know if they're working from home now or they're doing stuff around their house spending time home and with the people that they love i also feel like ultimately they want this they want to like marry their aquarius they want commitment they want to be together they want to have a reunion and they want to celebrate so i feel like their only goal right now is reunion and unfortunately that's not going to move anything because you could feel like this is all i want in life but you got to do inner work to get it but i kind of see this being like sort of like a message to say like reunion maybe on the horizon yeah look we definitely got that going on here okay because ultimately i do feel like this is twin flame i do i've gotten enough cards to make me feel this way and i'm like getting from spirit this is but i feel like you're both very stubborn okay so i don't know who's gonna break first to like reconnect or reach out i kind of feel like aquarius might um but there's definitely somebody is more um likely to do this than the other if that makes any sense let's see let's see let's see what will be reunion in the future not at this time okay just know that you're both thinking of each other you both think of each other lovingly but not at this time okay if you try to come back together now it's going to fall apart it's not it's like new foundations need to be built new ideas about the way like love works has to be like discussed and built so let's see from the divine feminine and the divine masculine let's get to the divine masculine energies feelings struggles anything like that divine masculine why this may have gone into separation we've got some temptation energy from the divine masculine okay so i don't know if this was an issue that it may be like this is feared most out of like libra um or or, or the aquarius energy like that temptation feelings like um i don't know like wanting to like go hook up with other people like feeling like it's not out of their system yet there might be that here for the Divine Masculine. I don't know if the Divine Masculine tempted the Divine Feminine too. And they just have that like nature. They're a very tempting nature. But I feel like they're like highly sexual and they need to kind of like sow their wild oats. They're definitely not ready to settle down. They're easily tempted still. And they feel like in competition with others. I feel like they can't ever feel like they're in competition. They have to be the top dog in charge. Major macho ego is what I'm getting right now. And they need to be like the ruler of a fe uh, fe feminine energy. Okay, so that's why there's separation. All right, if you're wondering, that's why. Yeah, self-destructive ego. I definitely feel that and get that. So that's why, if you're wondering. So now let's hear from the Divine Feminine. All right, take a break. Stop stalking. It's not doing you any good. It's not doing you any good to try to find them, to try to follow up with them, to try to stalk them, to try to look on their page, to try to see their pictures. I feel like so many Divine Feminines come to me and say that they were blocked. It's because of this obsessiveness, okay? And looking also at other people's stuff, like other people, your friends, your married friends, your friends that are in relationships, and being sort of hateful and negative about it, okay? Take a break from that. And this longing, yeah. Well, they're longing for you too, okay? Just know that. They're just, they're just not in that right mature energy, okay? I'm trying to keep your head above water. That's all you need to do. Just keep doing you. Keep focusing on you. Keep the focus very real for you. And when timing is right, it'll come back in order. Let's see some major events surrounding this. Yeah, look at this. You definitely have like a soul to soul connection here. Okay. If you didn't feel like this was twin flame, it's definitely high level soulmate. It really doesn't matter the label. Twin flame is a feeling. Soulmates are more common and we usually end up with soulmates so let's see yep commitment see that you see that when it's time it will come back together you will get that commitment what are the soul lessons in between this time to the time of the commitment what's that let's see what that is all right Divine feminine, divine masculine. So we've got learning about judgments. So it could be that, you know, you may have may have made judgments on your twin for their actions. 
and there's something within that that you're being taught okay so i'm asking you go in and look deeply at that and then we've also got intuition so learning how to trust your intuition more and we've got adapt to change so all these things are very vital i actually want just one more i want to see one more because i feel like these are important these are soul lessons so to understand like why there's separation part of it is like these 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 um messages here okay so we've also got to open up and to help others so there's like a lot of stuff to do i almost feel like you both have to go on like spiritual quests like quests of knowledge, quests of healing, quests of quests of like helping others, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to close out with a fairy message here from my fairy feelings oracle. Let's see what the fairies have to say about this. We've got peace. Make peace with yourself and all will be right. I love that. That is definitely part of the soul work that needs to be done here on both sides. And we've also got blessed path you're on the right path even if you can't see where it goes amen to that i hope that this was helpful today guys please let me know what you think in the comments love and light don't forget to check my description box for my private reading information and my twin flame support and mentoring group that i started on facebook love and light guys